or you're gonna take a left down one train park. Yes, sir. Okay. Go down one more. Let's go, guys. All right. We are boarded, and this is dinner as well. Hello. How are you? Good. Awesome. Go, watch your step. Telling him to watch his step. I need to watch my step. Just want to say here that the quality of the food was excellent definitely worth the money all right guys so i'm going to take you guys outside while the train is moving Ooh. drink in hand sorry oh i got you on camera you're going on youtube <laughs> oh, right, you. Oh, you should, you should tell me, i'll give you my sticker oh yeah all right guys, here we go. We're going out. This is scary. A little bit of history I was able to retrieve. So the Royal Gorge route, uh, Railroad, it, it's been a part of the history of Canyon City literally for over a hundred years. And all started back in the 1800s uh, when the railroads uh, reached Leadville. Um, and way back when, you know, Canyon City, they were looking for a system that ensured cool, clean uh, water that they wanted delivered right into the residents' homes. So in 1908, they set a plan in place to construct a wood stave water pipeline. And if you look to the left a bit as we go down, you can see some of that pipeline exposed um, and what's been left there throughout the years. And they used uh, two control panels which were installed one in 1957 and the other in 1974 and back then they used pneumatic over hydraulic controls to open and close the valves and they also used the town's prison to provide prisoners for labor and um, I thought that that was intriguing because you know what if they just took off but they didn't uh, they did earn monies to do so and acquired uh, land as well and if you look over to the left as we go down, you'll see some homes that are still standing. And those homes were occupied by some of the non-prisoners that worked the system to help during that time. And uh, floating down the river here, you'll see um, some kayakers that actually mooned us. So I had to cut that out because I don't think you would have liked to see that. Uh, but they were having a great time.
On the left are some of the homes I spoke about earlier that belong to some of the people that were working the pipeline. What we were about to see coming around the corner here was just perfect. The placement of the sun coming down, the sky colors, being on the train, it was just amazing. But these yurts were just incredible. As you see when we go by, they're full. People were having a good time. They were cooking out. And a little secret, on one of our upcoming videos, Paul and I actually stay here for three days and two nights. And I will take you through what they look like inside because they were just amazing. So this bridge is 1260 feet long, with the main span being 938 feet. And the bridge was built by 88 men. Half the team was over on the south side, half was on the north side, and they worked together to build the towers first and then run the cables. About 956 feet on both parts of river. Thank you so much for tuning in. We hope you all had a very Merry Christmas. And as always, we'll catch you on the next ride.